yeah so instead of we discussed about like in users users and types of users on how we are going to create a user record and utilizing of the user record right so today we will move to the next concept roles and groups okay roles and groups so heading as roles and write it down Keep the heading as write it down. Role is a position. Keep noting my points. Role is a position granted to someone. Role is the position. Granted to someone in the organization, role is a position granted to someone in the organization to perform to perform specific task to perform specific task or functionality or activity to perform specific task or functional or activity. I'll repeat again, same, the same sentence, role is a position. Role is a position granted to someone in the organization to perform specific task or functionality or activity. Okay. Next, write it down. The backend value of roles table is Roles table is sys underscore user underscore role. The backend value of role table is sys underscore user underscore role. Full stop. Now keep the heading as groups. Keep the heading as groups and write it down. Group is a set of users. Set of users who works on a common task. Who works on a common task. or request common task or request and stop i'll repeat again group is a set of users who work on a common task or request next line group members can perform group members can perform tasks such as group members can perform tasks such as approving approving change request approving change request or Resolving incidents, incidents slash tickets also you can mention in bracket. Resolving incidents. Resolving incidents, comma. Receiving email notifications. Receiving email notifications, etc. 
etc i'll repeat again group members can perform tasks such as approving change request or resolving incident is nothing but tickets in bracket you can mention and receiving email notifications etc next write it down the back end value of group table is sys underscore user underscore group sys underscore user underscore group okay so now let's talk about like in roles and we'll create your roles as well then we'll go with the groups and later after creating groups we'll discuss about like in assigning roles to user and adding users into like in members into groups and all these things which we'll discuss okay so without wasting our time so let me tell you what is a role so role so role is something which depending on like in the role which we act we'll get like a lot of access or permissions which we can perform certain activities or tasks or functions so simply we can say this is a position where we are going to perform different tasks okay let's say as we discussed yesterday we do how like in three types of users admin user is nothing but who having a admin role is nothing but admin user we call it and then ITIL user. So who having like an ITIL or ITIL admin role, then they are going to call as a ITIL users. Okay. And then we'll go ahead with like an other thing, uh, end users. End users is nothing but who having a extra external and SNC internal role, then they those users are called as end users or customers or clients okay so here depending on like in role we can define what kind of user you are in the same way in a project also or else even in an organization as well depending on your designation we can identify their work activities and all let's say example my friend is in a hr role so hr role is nothing but something he is going to work on like in recruiting managing finance and everything right so in the same way in use uh, service now as well we do have a different roles depending on like in roles assigned to the users they are going to perform their respective roles over there respective work or task whatever it might be which we call it okay so role is nothing but simply which is a position which we are going to grant to the users to perform specific tasks or activities okay so for this we do have like in the back end value of this is nothing but sys underscore user underscore role okay so let's create one role so to do that so just go to like a left navigation click on all and in the filter navigation just type roles okay so see here i have a under system security i do have a roles okay so open this click on so see here these are the roles by default we have 433 roles we have by default yes so now let's go with like in creating a new role click on new button in the top right corner okay so now we will get a new record to create a role so see the backend value of the role is nothing but this underscore user underscore role okay so now give the give name of a role anything let's say example test role which i'm giving okay and here see we have a required sub subscription as well so if the specific role need a subscription if there is like a necessity of going ahead with that then we'll go with like in yes or no or else unspecified okay and the description so description which we can mention the purpose or else the reason of creating this role so just let me go with like in testing purpose which i created this role to test it okay and here see we have an application so application is nothing but something in which application we are working so we do have a scoped application and then global application global is nothing but whenever we create this role so this will be applied for like a whole instance 
whatever the module might be whatever the table table which you are opening so it will be applicable wherever you can utilize this is nothing but application is global which is default will get it okay scoped application is nothing but within that specific scope or within that specific region only which we can utilize it okay so and one more thing we have here is like an elevate privilege elevated privilege is nothing but if i click on this one okay so there is a one default elevate privilege role as i told you before there is a privileged role right elevate role click on here there is a security underscore admin so this is a elevate role actually by default we'll get from our instance so if you want to make your role as well over here then you just need to check over here or else not required okay so you can save the form and now we created the role okay so let me go to the list view and we'll check whether this test role is available or not okay so in the name just give test see here the test role is available okay so this is a search actually so i'm going to explain about like in the conditions filters and how we are going to search all the stuff and all i'm going to give like an on the expression of the options available over here in the tomorrow class okay so as of now let's let us focus on like in roles and groups and how we are going to assign this to users okay so later i'm going to go ahead with like in the rest of our concepts so the next Please. concept is nothing but regarding like list. yeah could you please repeat how how did you create a role just just an option i just want the option yeah yeah i will one second so see uh, the next concept is like in filters conditions forms and list okay i'll go ahead with like in all the things as of now just focus on like in the role test role which i have created okay so now after creating this one so i do got like in multiple options as well in the related list and links Okay, so let us discuss that as well. Before that, let me create one more role for you. Okay, so uh, clicking on like in right top corner in a new click on new button. So we will get like a name and all these things and all just you like in the name of a role. Anything is fine. Demo test role. Okay, and as I told you, the subscription is available Then you can go ahead. Yes or no, or else no need to specify. And then this is about like in the purpose or else the why you're going to use it or else what's the reason of creating this role. And then application, as I told you, this is a global one, which will, which will be available for like in whole service now instance. And the next thing is like an elevated privilege. It's nothing but this is the role which we will get in a elevate roles in the home page as well, just like a security underscore admin. Okay. By default, security underscore admin will be available, but as of now, this is not required to add into like an elevate privilege. Okay. So now we are going to save it, or else you can submit the form. If okay. I save the I form, I have a question yeah, here. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so if we check on the elevate, elevate privilege uh, and then when we move back to the settings or on the right hand corner, mm -hmm. uh, so along with the security underscore admin, we see this role as well. Yeah, let me show you. Okay. That's the thing. Uh, elevate role is nothing but does it, that's what which we will get it actually. Okay, so as a requirement, so ACL, we are going to utilize it. So security underscore admin is the default one which we will get it. Okay, so by default, which whenever we are going to work with like an ACL, so whenever this is like an enabled security underscore admin is like an enable, then only we are going to access that specific ACLs to edit and to create it. Otherwise, we won't get an access. So in the same way, which we are giving some more a privilege to this specific role is nothing but that's what actually okay so now after creating this what we are going to do let let's focus on like in the next of uh, next options whatever we have right now okay so here we have a run point scan as well under related list okay so this is nothing but something which will scan according to like in how many roles are there and all these things and all okay it's just go with like an next if there is like in any exceptions or something else it will scan and there is no errors or warnings or nothing else okay so now we can close it so this is not much we are not going to use it okay let me go with like in the rest of the thing which is very important so now see contained rules 
contained roles is nothing but in this specific role let's say demo test role okay i can add another roles as well just like in child roles okay this will act as a parent role and then if i can add a another roles as well over here so here we'll get like a left sludge we we'll call it as a sludge bucket left side sludge bucket and this we call it as a right side sludge bucket okay so i can add few roles over here then what will happen these two roles will act as a child roles of this demo test role okay see job to add or remove roles group has been queried so just uh, we just added like in two roles over there okay then go with like in applications with role and modules with role so these two is nothing but let me go with like in home page so see here we do how like in applications and modules as i discussed earlier with you guys okay we do how like in applications and modules in the left navigation menu okay so this is a application the self service is the application and this is a module you can find out the difference see edit application and edit module okay so we will discuss about like in how to create an applications and modules and how we are going to edit all these things on another another day which we do have like in some the concept as well okay in the 19th point okay so here we will discuss anyhow but meantime just focus on like an only the option whatever is available now click on like an edit application and here we have a field called roles right so if i add that specific role over here okay then this self service application will available only for those roles who having this role if it is like an empty then it will be available for every everyone if i add any specific role let's say example admin okay and this will be available only for the admin role persons and another users cannot see this application menu we call it as a self service okay that's what if i add this demo test role and here the role will be add on for this specific application we can check it up in the same way for module as well the same thing which we can go back and click on like an edit okay so here we'll get like an another role as well okay let that come up see in a visibility there is a role so if i add any role over here then only for those users having that specific role can only see this module another users who doesn't have this role will not able to see this module that's it so that's how which we can add any module or application as well over here okay and then role subscription attributes is nothing but it regarding subscription so as of now no subscriptions for this so we can ignore this as for now and custom tables so if there is like in any specific custom tables for this specific role then that will be visible over here okay so this custom role is nothing but let's say i have created one table okay so in that if i want to display that specific table only for those candidates who having this role then it will be visible or else it will not that's how i'll show you there is a concept called tables as well tables creation forms and all there we will discuss about like in custom tables and all how we are going to create it and subscribe users if there is like in any subscriptions available then we will add the users over here subscribed users here okay so who is the user and what's the state and everything which we will add on okay so that's how which we are going to create a role okay so now let me go navigate to like in user table and we'll add the users we'll add the roles to the specific users let's say example yesterday we created a demo user right let me add to this person only you can go and do it like in any uh, user no restrictions uh, and all over here in pdi but whereas whenever you are doing in your project instance you just need to make sure whether that is a requirement point of view it's there or not if that's there you can add or else not required okay so he if i scroll down see in a related list okay i have a role right so in the right side in the middle of the page is there is a edit button click on the edit button and here you can type your role see the demo test role which i have created just now so i'm adding this role to this user demo user just moving from left side to right side is nothing but adding and click on save 
okay now let's scroll down and see i do got like a demo test role as well and in the same way these two users as well these two roles as well how do i got these two users do you have any idea sub sub role exactly. uh, the um, child roles which i have added for the demo test role that child roles also added over to this user okay so that's how it we are going to add roles to the users okay not only demo role you can add any role let's say example the random role which i'll take on action designer let's say example so here one more thing so you can double tap double click over here it will go or else single click and you can move with this adding and if someone asks you to remove the role from that specific user just double tap tap over here or else single click with a remove okay so that's how which we can go ahead if you want to select multiple click on control and you can do it okay so at the same uh, at the time which we can add multiple roles over here to the user and click on save and he will get all these roles see yeah, first like thing you need to select thing. the user right just going to the user id user id to okay. which so you are going to you know add the roles and open the user id scroll down here we have a roles click on edit and you can add okay any question so far apiyanka can you repeat again that if we added a demo test role how remaining three roles i will get that yeah here we have contains roles okay so here i added those roles contain role see here already i have like in this thing acts a admin and acts a user i have added in a contain roles of uh, this demo test role so this is this will act as a parent role and these two will act as like in child roles and whenever i added this one automatically these two also will be added oh, got it that right. means they are inherited along Correct. with the role that is exactly created. okay so that's how which we are going to add roles to user okay so let me go with like in the group as well okay so in the left navigation menu just type group now we will create groups okay so under system security we have this right so open the groups and this is a group table and the back end value of the group is sys underscore user underscore group okay so in the top right corner we have a new button click on the new button and again we have a new page new record page okay so here we can give like a name of a group let's say example demo test group so the name which you can give anything but whereas in your project they will give you the name okay so they will give full details what needs to be done okay just we will do that according to the requirement okay so just add on the name and you can add your Priyanka, manager Priyanka, where do we need to search this uh on on all home page oh. only all type a group and go to under system security here we have system security yeah Fine. Okay, so now go to like a manager and add your manager over here. Anyone is fine. As of now, I'm adding like in my user ID only system administrator. And as, as I told you, description is nothing but what's the purpose? What's the reason of creating it? Okay, you can mention some statement or something regarding that uh, group. Okay, and then group email ID, which you can add on like in anything, let's say test at gmail.com. Whenever I send email or some any notifications or approvals or something, this group, okay, then all the members who having in the internal user members will get an emails. Okay, this is this is a group email and then parent so if you want to make this as a child group and you are going to add like an existing group into as a parent you can add existing groups as well over here then this will act as a parent group and this will act as a child group okay so now i'm not gonna add any group over here because this should be along as an individual group for me so i'm going to save the file. 
if i submit the form even that also it's it's correct but if i submit it it will redirect to the before page and it will not be be in the same page so that's what i'll right click on the banner and i'll click on save okay and the options whatever is available over here will be discussed tomorrow okay and then let me go with like in the options available over here in the later list so here see we can add roles directly to the group as well okay so if i add roles to the group then whoever involved in this group as a members they will get these roles as well automatically it will be assigned to the user let's say example i have added here two users okay so in the user id so as i showed you before Okay, so as I showed you before, so I didn't add any roles over here by using edit button in the user record, but I have added the role in the group and that user is there in this group, then automatically the roles, whatever which I am going to add over here will be applicable for those members in the group. Okay, so let me show you that as well. Okay, so we can add roles as well for the group. Okay, let me add the role. So click on the edit button and then add the role. Let's say example demo role and the test role also which we will. Okay, click on save. Now I have added these two roles into this group, demo test group. Okay, so now go to the group members. Here we can add the members into the group. Okay, so click on like an edit. And now, demo user is there. I'm going to add it. Save. Uh, I have added one user to this group. Let me add one more user. Group is nothing but group of people, right? Let me add few more. Add. Okay, so now it, it's loading actually, it will show. So now see the roles is like in two, I have added test role and demo test role and the group members is these guys. Okay, so now let us find out. So here I have added test role and demo test role, whether these two roles has these users as well. Let's say this demo role is also already there because I have added before. Let me go with like an able tutor or any other user. So if you click on this and we will find out whether these persons has demo role or not. See, demo role is added and demo test role also added. Is nothing but he belonged to one group demo test role. Okay, so this person having a test role and demo test role as well as he has involved into the group and one more thing the child groups a uh, child roles also added over here see act sub admin and act sub user okay so that's how it true we are going to add the members into the group as well and the roles also simultaneously will be assigned to that specific group members involved in the specific group Okay, so that's how. And then key see here we have a groups as well. So now if I add any groups over here, then this will act as a parent group and this will act as a child groups. Just as I showed you before for like in roles, the same thing will be there over here as well in groups. And the next thing, manage subscriptions. So if I have like in any subscriptions for regarding any kind of users over here or for this specific group, then I will go with this one. So as of now, I'm not going to use this. Even in my experience, I haven't uh, gone to like in this option so far. Okay. So this is what about like in how we are going to create a group and then roles and users and how we are going to assign the roles to the group and how we are going to add the members into the group and then how we are going to add the roles to the users and all this stuff. Okay, let me go with like in one more thing in a users as well. See here, I have a group. Even here also, I can add this demo user to any of a group existing. Let's say example. So if I click on like an edit, the group list will come up. Okay, let's say cab approval or else capacity management. So I'm adding this demo user to this group as well. So now this person is belongs to this group now. So it will load and it will take some time. 
Okay, so see capacity management. So now this person belongs to these two groups and he's having these 12 roles. Okay, so that's how which we are going to create a user role and groups in Savage now and adding the roles and groups to the users we learned and adding a user to the role, sorry, adding the group to the roles and everything which we have learned. Uh, okay. Priyanka, one question. Yeah. Uh, so in the groups, you have added capacity management. Yeah. So let's suppose capacity management has uh, six I roles. I add capacity management to the group. I added demo user to the capacity management group. Okay. So okay. To the group. Okay. Yeah. So now who, whatever the roles having in capacity management role, those roles also will assign or else included uh, to the demo user. All right. So including to the, to the demo user who already has few roles mm. will be added along with the other roles what capacity management has. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Yes. It got it. So that's how actually. So creating like in user roles and groups and assigning the roles and adding the members into the groups and utilizing this in a in a right manner. Okay, so this is what about like in this thing and when coming to like in your project. So how you're going to get the requirements and how you're going to fulfill it. We'll discuss this now. So uh, yesterday we discussed about like in user, right? Whenever new uh, person is like and you know, join into like in your project. Okay, so they will ask you to create a user ID and share across to the person so that he will get an access of that instance. Okay, so in the same way, so let's say example one person having an access of like an admin role. Okay, so he just um, need to access. Yeah. What is delegate now? Delegate is something yesterday we discussed this, right? Delegate is something. Let's say I'm a person who's going to like in vacation for a few days maybe like in i will be in an emergency leave or something so i need to approve something or else there is like a lot of meetings which is there okay so that's like in really important and i should not um, i should not be the reason for the project should not move uh you know forward that should not be in a hole right so instead of me or this behalf of me someone can take off my work like approving tasks see here approving task assignments or else notifications or in attending the meetings and all can be done by some other person some other user or some colleague which we can say so he can do your work in behalf of you let's say you are a manager and you need to approve a lot of leave requests or else you know internal project kind of um, approvals will be there so those things which you need to approve Okay, if you approve, then only the project will move forward. So if you are not there in the office or else if you were in the leave for like in long days. Okay, so someone should come and work. So that's what which we will make it as a delegate with some other person. Can we, can having we the same role. responsibilities? Exactly. Uh, okay, so he will take care of you like in all your approvals, assignments, notifications and meetings. Okay, and he will be a part of like in bridge to the project and he will move forward all the work, whatever you need to do. That's about like a delegate. So whenever we mark it as a person, let's say I have mentioned like and this is the user and delegate is like in the person who need to take a responsibility behalf of you and how long that should be. Okay, so in between these, uh, you know, start and end day out of time. So you, you just need, you will get like in all these approvals, assignments and all these notifications to your mailbox until he comes back. Okay, so that's how about like in delegate. Okay, master. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, Priyanka, I have a query. Priyanka. Mm -hmm. If we add that this demo user into any one of the group, mm -hmm then abraham lincoln is the delegate right yeah uh, then he will also uh, get added to that group or only demo user will get added only to the... demo user okay okay so this is not regarding like in group we just taking a uh, you know 
sharing the responsibility is like an another person so we are not involving him to like in some other group or else you know any other stuff but whatever the uh, notifications uh, the demo user will get okay those days or uh, the start and end days in between those days he will get those notifications as well that's it yeah okay priyanka got it yeah so that's how about uh, this one yeah if uh, in your projects uh, right so they will ask you to add a specific role to the user so we'll navigate to the user and you'll scroll down and you'll go to roles and you will add a user and here is the one point which they will ask you in interview sometimes okay so they will give you like a scenario that i need to add one specific role to 15 users or multiple users let's say so what is the best practice to add multiple users with a single role they will ask so what will be your answer it is better to add the user to a group because roles are create already for them exactly so creating a group for like in 10 users and adding one role to the group then that will be assigned to all of a users at the same time in future if i want to remove any of a group members from a group or else need to add that same role uh, to the further users as well in future that can be add on or we can remove the users as well from the group so that's a best practice which we need to do instead of going individually and adding a role to each and every user okay so that's what about like in users roles and groups now it's your time to go with like and your questions so any questions so far and I suggest you just go with like in whatever your questions have in the end of a session. I'll give you a lot of time. All your questions will be answered for sure. We'll keep this Q and A session in end of his, uh, you know, class. Uh, let's just say if some organization has uh, 100, 100k uh, employees. Yeah. If they want to add 100k employees manually, it is not possible, right? Then yes, Ganesh. Do... Yesterday I told you, right? If you have like in multiple users, we can go ahead with like an LDAP integration. They'll do, and there is like an exporting the users by using Excel sheet or some other sheets as well. We can do ahead. So okay. if it is like in uh, finger counted persons, like four or five or thing, we can do it as a manually. If it is like in more than that, we'll go with like an LDAP integration, or else exporting it by sheets import sets we have a uh, concept so that we'll discuss in some other day okay okay i hope you were late yesterday with the class i guess i was there but i couldn't i didn't remember the no no problem at all yeah any questions guys all good and oh, priyanka sorry to ask like i'm fully zoned out uh, what you did exactly so can you explain me in a brief way what you did like roles groups something it was confusion for me okay yeah in a brief way don't want a full explanation just in a brief way what is what uh -huh. yeah so user is something which we are going to create a specific record to the user so that he will get an access of a instance okay for user is nothing but that is the details which we are going to include in the user record it is like in first name last name the designation and uh, which department he belongs to and all the things will be available over there okay and then based on a roles he will get a access of the instance okay role is nothing but this is a something uh, an access or the position which we are going to give to the users in a specific project and be depending on like in roles they are going to work on a task of any kind of activities in a instance role is simply how we are going to add the roles is nothing but this is a user record and scroll down here he, he do how like in roles so here we are going to add the roles okay and then the groups is nothing but set of users which we are going to combine number of or else multiple number of users into a group and we can make them to work simultaneously or else set of users who works on a common task or request okay so adding a few members into like a groups is nothing but we are adding them into the group for a common task yeah go ahead okay. like like if they add like five, five members around 
so they can the five members can work on that particular task right yeah they can work so on that awesome. in usually in your projects it's not about like a developers or team or something which we do okay so we do record according to like in the requirement let's say example there is a de development uh, team okay so developers will be added over here that is like in support team support team will be added over there and i showed you like uh, sh showed you before right here see capacity management that is one team so we are making them as a group and the members also will be available over there uh, it if depends it upon the members. request what we got right like say we, yeah. if the request is about the development so we add the developers into that group yes they okay. will give a group name and group members and everything okay. so depending on like in the data which we receive we will work on that yeah. see this concept is like in really very very easy when compared to other concepts creating a user's roles and group is nothing but opening the record and Add on, adding the details over there, that's it. Filling the fields, that's it. Filling the fields and saving the record. So that's how it will be like, it will be like in roles, users and groups. Thank okay. you. Yeah, no problem. Any further questions, guys? And I just need a confirmation that, you know, you are not uh, picking my calls and your, your people are not giving a confirmation to me so that you know sharing the videos is getting delayed and few many are asking me to share the videos of last class and today's before class so please give me confirmation if any of you are not given the confirmation to me okay and uh can i ask who was that who is that lenovo and hp can you please rename it As it is like in starting classes, I just need a confirmation and how many are there and how many are, you know, going to proceed with the training. So that helps for me, like and for the registration process and all. So please cooperate with me so that which I can work comfortably. And I just need to share the videos to everyone so that they will practice. And Sharon, is that like in my reference or from Prakash? Okay, stop recording.